Okay, it's out of the woods with Retro Styles coming at you. This is going to be in my top five and non exhaustive list of N64 games. Let's check it out. I just want to read you guys off my top five N64 games because that was one of my favorite consoles. Um, Atari was cool, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis was cool, but man, when N64 came out on the market, it was definitely revolutionary. So we're going to go ahead and get started, and we're going to show you guys the top five N64 games. All right, guys, this is uh, my fifth favorite game. It's Duke Nukem. Holy moly. This game is so awesome. The soundtrack is just popping. The gameplay is awesome. You gotta go in there and save the babes. And he's going in there to take out those alien scum. He's coming to kick butt and chew bubblegum. And he ran out of bubblegum. So let's get started. Okay, just for single player. Okay, we'll, we'll do a piece of cake for now. This is just my gameplay, okay? It's telling you that you gotta save the babes. Okay, not bad. Okay, so you gotta switch your weapons. Okay. Let's get those weapons switched. Okay, there's your start. Okay, then we're gonna shoot that like you're supposed to. Well then, oh yeah, you know what? You gotta collect your uh, th your bullets. And this was awesome because I was stoked that they started introducing first. Uh, they did first persons in Nintendo, but they were more like uh, RPGs and Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, I'm talking like first person shooters, like Duke Nukem. Man, I mean, this game was just rocking. All right, there we go, Kablooey. We blew that popsicle stand. Now I'm not playing this on the native controls, so if you notice where I'm moving kind of funny, or if I happen to die, it's because I'm uh, getting used to the emulation controls. This is most likely where you're gonna die. Boom. Okay, I did remember that. Okay, this is the theater. See, if you want, look in places like this ahead of time. Cause sometimes there will be guys in there. Okay. And the gun noises, man, were awesome. And no, I'm not going to use that term on point. It reminds me of when you're using the restroom, man. I just get so frustrated when people use that because it's the, it's the new term to use. But anyway, that's just my little mini rant. Let's see if I... Whoop. Oh, someone shoot me. Boom, you alien scum. See, I mean, the graphics were pretty awesome. I mean, I, I can remember as a teenager spending tons of time just rolling through this. blood and stuff was cool. I didn't care about that. Now my mom, she didn't like it, but I mean, it was okay. it's time to make tracks. And who else is right there? Someone's behind me. Oh, you know what? I know where they're at. They're up in the theater trying to hit me. I'll catch you later. It's like Will Smith said, "Go home, smell you later." All right, guys, that was my fifth and favorite game for N64. This is so awesome, guys. Duke Nukem. Okay, so this made my my number four. But as you can see, I'm playing as a different character. I'll play another round just so that way you guys can see it. 
See, this is a modified version of Mario Kart. Mario Kart is off the hook, and when I saw a modified version, oh my gosh, it was pretty awesome. We'll go to retry. And actually, you know what? I want to show you guys the, the modified characters, so we'll go ahead and, and check it out again. All right, we'll go back to the menu. Okay, do an easy one, 50 CC. Okay, see, look, they have Samus, Crash, Skull Kid, Waluigi, <coughs> excuse me, Banjo, Sonic, and where it was, Luigi was supposed to be Link, so I don't know what happened there, but it's Luigi. But either way, I thought it was cool. I really like Waluigi, so. Which you can tell. It was Wario. Okay, let's replace it with Waluigi. Okay, let's do a quick little Luigi's Raceway. Pretty awesome, though, either way, do we have to do that one half look? Google and everything. Okay, let's go. Okay, pretty cool. I still like Wario as one of my favorite. Okay, here we go. Sonic's even in here. See, look, there's Sonic. Okay. Here we go. Well, here I go. I'm gonna spin out of control. Alright. Like I said, I'm not really playing to win, I'm just showing you guys the basic functionality. Oh man, hit me again, alright. Let's go. Let's get back on the road again. A little bit ahead of the game. I am number four. When you get in the sand, it obviously slows you down. But man, this is pretty awesome. Uh, this one had to make it on my list because it was the modified version. I like the original, but the modified version was cool as well. So we're just gonna stop off right here and we're gonna head on to the next video. Alright, a game that made my number three. I couldn't make as my number three because Hydro Thunder does not emulate well, period, with any of the Nintendo platforms. So I think I have that. That's either on, uh, I think it's on Dreamcast, I want to say. But it's okay. This is my number three. This was a tie anyway. So we'll go to Cruise in the World. I'm just going to do a brief little play real quick. Go to Cruise in the World. Find uh, the one I like is the little can. Watch. Where are you at? I call him the can opener, but that's not his name. Sardine Extreme. Favorite car. Kind of really gets it. We'll go to an easy one so I can show you guys real quick. Egypt. Here we go. Pretty cool, the graphics were, well, well, I didn't get my driver's license here, obviously. But I'm not trying to go for a placing right now. This is just to show you guys the gameplay. Controls are really awesome on this, by the way. Here we go. We do all kinds of tricks. If you don't run into a tree first. But you get points for that. The Sardine Extreme is one of the lightest ones. One of the most efficient ones in my book. See, I could have got some points there, but I was not going fast enough. Okay. I think this was when all the arcade games started popping. Like the, the racing car games and we're just at that point really going with 
the graphics, I mean, to me they were flawless back then. I, I didn't see any kind of flaw in these. What's cool was that in arcade, this one was just as great as it was on N64, so they really did it justice when they brought it to the console. See, like, how you oh, they thought we were going to crash. Not today. Well, not right there, anyway. Okay, pretty cool. The graphics were awesome. I mean, really detailed. And it's cool that there weren't any bugs. I mean, in my opinion, anyway. Your opinions are probably different. You can tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought about this game. Look, oh. that was cool. Alright, there was the gameplay. Alright, that was pretty awesome. That was my uh, number three. And look, I even still got a high score. Let's put AAA. Boom. Alright, that was my number three today, guys. Cruising the world. Alright, you guys know this one already. This is Pokemon Stadium. One of... My favorite games. I'm sorry to say this is number two, but we're gonna go with this. So I'm gonna pick Charizard, Blastoise, Raichu, and here we go. All right. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get quite hot. Here Begin we go. round five. Oh, yeah, I'm going to beat him easy. Okay, you can see the graphics on here are pretty amazing. Okay. Can I go that long? Okay, let's see. We're gonna use the fire spin. Now I've already gotten pretty far into the tournament, so I'm just showing you guys where I'm at in the game. This is Charizard. Here he goes. Oh, the attack missed. Miss. Okay, he's gonna use confusion. Okay, so oftentimes when you get confused when you're in the game, really kind of. Hurt you because you're gonna end up fighting yourself, so let's see what happens. Yep. Whoa, I just slapped I told you. I just slapped myself. Okay, he's gonna go toxic. Oh, toxic! It's all it right. to the I'm gonna I'm gonna defeat him, so I'm not really worried about it. In this battle. Fire no. Miss the target. Okay. This obviously isn't working, so we'll go with another one. He's gonna use what a little bite. A decent hit! Neither one is conceding an inch. Okay, so that's what he was saying. He was saying we're not going too far, so we're gonna go with fly. They go into battle poses. And go up into the top! What's next? Oops, that's a miss. They're both flying Pokemon, so that's what makes it hard. It shook off its confusion. A Boom. savage hit! Told you I was going to come back. Still hurt my poison, that's okay. Too many on this. There, it's a hit! Okay. The crowd's excitement is building over this hot battle. So, Sword Dance, here we go. They strike fighting poses. It increased in the now I'm going to show you the uh, just this battle. I'm not going to go through the whole three battle sequence. It's just a quick little sequence just to show what you guys the gameplay. It's pretty Good incredible. Hit. This game was oh, awesome for this time. Well, he defeated me. That's okay. I'll be the zoom out real quick. I already know who I'm going to use. We'll go with right to. Bless you. Ah, just kidding. Okay, so here we go. Oh, it's Raichu! 
It has to make up for lost ground. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. All right, so in order to get him accurately, I think we're going to hit him with a Thunder Wave. Face each other. Hit you, Thunder Wave. Oops, it's paralyzed. Okay. It says he's paralyzed and can't attack, but he's still it often attacked. slowly damage the opponent. Okay, so are flying in this battle. Let's go with electric. The commands are issued. Awesome mega kick! Oh, the attack! Miss! Man, I'm surprised! I'm getting to smack down by a Zubat? Are you kidding me right now? This matchup has become one sided I have never gotten to smack down by a Zubat before. They Guess there's a first time for everything. Open. I'm confused, so let's see what happens. Actually, took a hit. Okay. What's this? Attack miss. Miss the target. Alright, so... There's a big difference in HP. We're gonna go with the Thunder. We're gonna bring the Thunder. Let's see. Here it comes! Thunder! Boom! Effective. Just defeated you, alright guys? Taken down. Are the words with Retro Styles. Hope you guys like my video. Pokemon We're beat. going on. This was number two to my second oh, favorite Derby. Men 64 game. The Pokemon are. All right, guys, this is my number one top favorite video and video game, actually, I should say, is the Mario World. Wake up, there, buddy! It's time to wake up, Mario. Let's try to pinch your nose. Alright, let's give it a starter. Okay. Okay, Goki. Hey, Mario. Alright, this is the beginning. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Okay, so right here, here comes Lakuda, as I like to call him. This is a guy that takes all the videos or snapshots for you. You know, I might get a, a, a uh, strike from Nintendo for this, but it's all good. This is one of my favorite games. Nintendo, I like you. You're my favorite companies. Alright, so everybody who's played this knows this already. Alright, so then you run. Alright, here we go, right into the castle. Okay, this is where he stops to tell you that he's going to be taking all your pictures and all that fun stuff. Just going to skip ahead real quick just for gameplay's sake, and here comes Bowser. Gonna laugh at you real quick. All right, so we're gonna take you through one level real quick. You know what? We'll take you back this way. See the little ad on the screen? I am filming this via my phone, so just to give you guys like a basic idea of what my favorite ones are. And yes, I do emulate. This is the best way I can show you guys. Because my phone has screen capture, so. Alright, this one's easy. Bomb on Battlefield. We're gonna run through this real quick. I'm just gonna skim through this right quick. Okay. I'm gonna go up to the big boss and defeat the. Oh, well, not that way, obviously. So let's go this way. Okay, look, look. Try but fail. Okay, here we go. I could have just got the chomp star, but... Ah, oh, rats. When you're emulating, it's kind of harder. So I feel that if you are emulating, 
on a device that has touch screen, it's a lot harder. Okay, so here we go. There we go. And if you know how to play the game, this part really isn't all that hard right here. Just gotta know how to run. And that's one of the red coins that you collect. You collect all the red coins to get a star, but I'm not trying to get coins today. I'm going to have to defeat the boss of the level. Okay. This part's kind of tedious. The cool part about uh, Mario 64 is you don't have a time limit like you do with the other ones. Is that they give you so much to do that the time limit's gone. Because if they were to give you a time limit on this, then they would have messed up. Here we go, we're going to disappear. Boom, and that basically allows you to come to the top. You can do that. Bring yourself up to the top. Come on, bomb guy. You ready for me? Okay, go through all that real quick. Okay, you gotta let him follow you so you're not on the edge. Him. He can't throw you, so you gotta let him walk, walk at you. There's a bomb, so. See, look. He's gonna throw me. Good thing he didn't throw me off the edge. Crazy star. Here we go. All right, and that was my number one video on Mario 64. That's going to be my top five today, guys. Didn't you think those were cool? I mean. Those were just my top five personal favorites. You guys let me know in the comment section below what your top five games are. And then you guys let me know which ones are the best. If you guys didn't like my top five, awesome. If you did, awesome. I mean, we all have our own personal favorites. So, I mean, to me, I've always been a huge Super Mario fan. And when Nintendo 64 came out, it was huge. N64 just kind of blew the market off because it totally expanded all of the Super Mario World levels. I mean, you could jump into paintings and everything. So it was really, really legit. So you guys let me know. In the comment section below what's going on. Guys, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way it tells you guys when my videos pop up. Like it, subscribe, and share. And you guys do me a favor. Be an amazing version of you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day.